agorcoach.com and just talking with uh, Don Burnett from the gardenexpert.com and we're just having a look here at the uh, some of the cactuses but hey Don how's it going and Ken the plural for cactus is cacti it is indeed cactus but that's okay you know <laughs> you know absolutely at, um, this is a fabulous thing well as you can see from my foot you got to be careful with them. This is one of the opuntias, uh, and uh, they call them opuntia fragilis uh, because of their fragileness, and they they will stick to your shoe or anything else, a part of your body as you're walking through them. So I'm just going to take my shears and, and get rid of this guy. I don't need him. I'll put him back in his cage. But um, no, I've got a collection here of, of uh, opuntias and these choya opuntias, the choya cactus which is mm. unusual because in the Okanagan we don't think of cactus as growing this big and being hard yeah. and outside. Um, so it, and, and limited use in a way, uh, the good part of it is you never have to water them, but yeah. they're cactus and they will survive on our regular Okanagan rain, which is possibly 11 inches a year, mm -hmm. which is not very desert-like. And uh, they will survive that. There's a couple of different varieties. But, that's the positive side. The negative side is that they're dangerous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't want to put them in any area where there's kids or pets or whatever because they're pretty prickly. They've got these big thorns on them uh, once they once they harden off here or there. And these, you know, cactus, here's a smaller uh, species of uh, choya. Um, and they have a kind of an orangey flower, beautiful flower. They don't get too huge, the flowers themselves, but they're very pretty. Mm. And then, of course, I've got various other opuntias. <clears throat> There's probably about 110 different opuntias out there. And a lot of them are um, hardy for the Okanagan. So it's kind of fun to have a cactus collection. Mm. I put a railing up here simply because uh, it just kind of keeps people from leaning in. Yeah. Uh, kids, kids and pets are subject to uh, getting injured by them. But... Um, all in all, they're a fabulous, uh, fabulous thing to have. And as you can see, yeah, uh, this, this one's one. in a pot, uh, but this one's darn close to five and a half feet tall. Yeah. Once you once you put it back down at the ground level. And I'd imagine and, they can go a bit higher. Oh, once, well, you it's know. growing. They put on about six inches a year. Yeah. And I've had this one probably for about uh, ten years. Wow. 10 or Twelve years. And so I noticed it's under the eaves of the house as well, but do you actually give it a little hand watering from time to time? About or? three times a year I give them a drink. Okay. Because they're in pots. Yeah. If they were in the ground, you wouldn't have to give them a drink at all. Yeah. yeah. Wow, well, it certainly is a beautiful thing. And you see these beautiful blooms on this thing. Like, they're closed right now. They're just, yeah. you were saying they open at night, They open possibly, in the evening eh? when it's a little cooler. I think it, in the daytime, they're kind of pinched at night. Yeah. Or pinched closed, but... Um, I'm quite fond of them, and uh, you can share these very easily by just taking a piece, that, this piece right here. Mm -hmm. If you took that chunk there and gave it to somebody and they just planted it, you know, inch and inch and a half into the ground, it would grow. Yeah. Easy. Amazing. Now, I'm not sure about this new, this is brand new, this this is a brand new growth. You might have to wait till they're hardened a little bit before you, you do that. Yeah, well, so, uh, typical, I think, of some succulents. Yeah. And even cactus, we used to do some cactus uh, propagation. Mm -hmm. We would cut them and just leave them out to dry for a couple of days. Yes. Even a week would yes. be good. And then uh, at that point, we'd plant them up. Yeah. 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 Pretty cool. There you go. Yeah, well, that's awesome, Don. I appreciate you uh, taking some time with us today looking at these Choya cactus. Happy to be with you. All right.